Western Washington University is an awesome public university I attended from 2016 to 2019. I loved my time at Western. There were a lot of pros and some cons about the school. And I'll talk about it in this video because I've talked about a few different college things on my channel, stuff like Running Start, which I had the opportunity to do, which I'm glad I did. So I also have talked about a few other things, but let's go ahead and get right into Western. So first things first, I decided to go to Western after thinking about some options for where I wanted to go. I got into a few good schools that I was pretty excited about. And after thinking about it, logistically, financially, and location-wise, I ended up deciding to go to Western. One of the big reasons actually is because I love philosophy and they actually have a really good undergraduate philosophy program. I had gone to a few different philosophy courses at my community college, which was Green River Community College in Auburn, Washington. I had a great experience there. And one of my philosophy instructors let me know that Western has a great program for philosophy for undergrads, and he recommended I consider going there. So that was actually a big factor as well. I ended up moving there and moved into the dorms September 16th, 2016. I still remember because I had been so excited to like move out uh, and be out on my own for a long time. Like honestly, if I could have legally gone to college at like 15, I would have loved to do that, but uh, I am glad I got to do that when I did, and I really enjoyed my move-in experience. The dorms were pretty cool, actually. I lived in a pretty old dorm called Eden's Hall, and it's, I think, in like, it was built in like the 1920s or something, but it's since been renovated, and it's not like decrepit or anything. I really liked the dorm, actually. And it's a dorm for honor students, so anyone in the honors college, or at the time it was called honors program at Western, has priority to stay in that dorm. So all my peers in that dorm were all really smart and motivated and just cool people. I'm still pretty close friends with my roommate from, from that time, so I'm uh, grateful for that. So all in all, I had a good moving experience. I ended up deciding to study biology and philosophy at Western. So I ended up getting two degrees, a BS in biology and BA in philosophy. So if anyone has questions about either of those programs, definitely let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to talk about those in more detail. I decided to do that. And one of the funny things is that since I came in to, with, uh, to Western with an associates from Green River through Running Start, I was technically a freshman at Western because that's the way Running Start works. You get the benefits of all the college credits, but you don't have to declare or you don't have to be considered like an upperclassman, which is nice. However, there were some things that are worth keeping in mind for anyone doing that because I actually had to declare my majors, like I think my second day on campus. So it was like right away because I had so many credits coming in. I ended up having 96 quarter credits coming in to Western, which is quite a lot, So, which I'm super glad for. It ended up letting me do those two degrees in three years. Honestly, if I had wanted to just do one degree, I could have done it in two years, but I wanted to spend the extra time learning what I, what I felt like learning, so I'm really grateful for that. Some of the biggest pros of, the, of Western are, one, the campus is super beautiful, like it's surrounded by trees, and the campus itself is pretty well maintained. It's a lot of hills, but it's nice, and it's a lot of bricks uh, on the ground and brick buildings. So it's just a beautiful campus, and it's right on the water, literally right on the ocean. So even in the Viking Commons, which is one of the like the dining halls, you literally can be sitting at your table with friends, and looking out the window is the ocean, like right there. So it's pretty cool. Another big pro of Western is that they have a few really, really strong programs, and I think all their programs are at least decent. So a few of the programs that they're really strong in, in my opinion, are things like philosophy, which I mentioned. Although that philosophy, it's not really for jobs, it's really just for self-enrichment, uh, at least at the undergrad. So some other things that are more job-worthy that they have good programs in are business, and specifically like accounting. So I had a lot of accounting friends who work now at local firms in Bellingham or in Seattle, and they're doing great. They're also really strong in education. So the Woodring College of Education has a lot of great 
options for producing really good teachers, which is cool. They also are pretty strong in fine arts and stuff like that. I'm not sure about their engineering programs or their computer science. I'm just not that familiar with that stuff at Western. So I can't speak to that, but I can speak to their honors program, which is super good, and their biology program. So I really enjoyed my time in the biology program. I think there are some professors who are really good, but I would say their strongest programs in my personal opinion, just from my experience in talking to my friends there, are stuff like philosophy, education, accounting, and fine arts. That's, that's what I would personally say. So moving on to some other pros, I think Western is at a good location in terms of convenience to a few different things. Like it's about an hour from Vancouver, BC, which is nice because if you just want to take a day trip somewhere different, you can just head up to Canada and have a nice day trip up there. I like Vancouver because it's kind of like Seattle, but way nicer. <laughs> like Seattle is, has a lot of crime and homelessness, unfortunately. But Vancouver is pretty nice in my opinion. It's pretty well maintained, a lot less dirty, a lot less homelessness, which is good. I like that. You can also go to Seattle. It's only like two hours away from Seattle. But Bellingham itself is nice because it attracts a few different sorts of like shops and eateries. Some of my favorite food I've ever had is in Bellingham, honestly. Like they have a lot of really good food of different kinds. They have great Indian food. I recommend, um, what's it called? Oh, it's been a while, man. But I'm pretty sure it's India Grill. Really good. Burrito King is good for cheap burritos. And then El Agave, really good for a sit down Mexican restaurant. AB Crepe, super good. Like really, a lot of really good food in Bellingham. So that's a draw for sure. So some cons about Bellingham and Western, I think uh, one is that I think it's rains a lot. So that's one thing, especially for people who are out of state. Keep in mind that when people say like Washington, like Western Washington, especially rains a lot, like they're not exaggerating. Even if someone's complaining a lot, like, oh, it rains so much. Uh, it's worth keeping in mind that it it does actually rain a good bit. I think the actual number of days is about 100 per year, but it feels like more. It feels like about 250 or 300 a year, some, some years. So that's just straight up. But one thing that's nice about the rain is even if you don't like the rain, then it still gives all the trees so much nourishment that when it is sunny, it's super hard to beat how beautiful it is. So, but if you do like the rain, then you'll be all set. Like I have family members who love the rain and they want to stay in Washington, which is cool. So that's one con. Another con, in my opinion, is that Western is like, so actually I'll step back. This is not entirely a con. It's like a pro and a con, but just in my opinion, Western is a very hippie school and that comes with some good things and some bad things in my opinion. So some things are like, it's a very chill vibe, I feel like, the whole city, but Western is especially where people are pretty chill. Like people do work hard, but they also play hard and relax, which is kind of cool. That's definitely the pro. But yeah, overall, I had a great experience at Western Washington University. I recommend it as a university for anyone who's considering going to school in Washington who maybe doesn't want to go to a bigger school like University of Washington, but still wants to try something different and if you're into anything that has to do with being outdoorsy or eating good food or connecting with cool, interesting people, Western's definitely gonna have that for you. So hope that's helpful. If you have any specific questions, definitely let me know. I can either make another video or just reply to comments. Either way is cool. So yeah, hope you have a great day.